Happy Friday, Ranger Nation. You made it another week. Somehow we made it another week. Welcome to the Ranger Week in Review. Everything that happened in your world of Power Rangers, be it the TV show, comics, video games, merch, movies, and if it has Power Rangers in it, we're going to talk about it. And boy, do we got some stuff to talk about today. Remember that New York Toy Fair that happened this week, last weekend? Six and a half hours of live streaming, I did it. I cut that down into about 40 minutes of content. So we have that plus all of the other Ranger news that happened this week. So it's going to be a little crazy. Grab your drink. Full spoiler, guys. I'm recording this Thursday afternoon at like 2. So no, uh, there, it's not beer. Just, just pretend it is if you have to. But it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday. It's just a little too early for me to be cracking open a beer. Are you ready? Woo! Grab a drink, guys. Sit back. Relax. Because the Ranger Week in Review is starting right now. Thank you for joining me. I am Ranger Liz, and we've got a bunch of stuff on the docket today. Not only with Beast Morphers, but we have comic news as well, merch news, lots of fun stuff to talk about, and a preview for next week's comic. Ooh, it's going to be good, so let's just get into it. Where are we going to start our current show, guys? Beast Morphers. I'm just applauding because I'm so, so happy. We have the date, March 2nd. That is next Weekend, set your DVRs. Really set your DVRs because in my time zone central, it is at 7 a.m. now. Woo! Which begs the first question of the episode. Are you going to be waking up early and watching it? Or are you just going to DVR it and be like, I'm going to watch it when I wake up? Or do you just you DVR it anyway so you don't really care about watching it live? Either way is fine. I was all gung-ho about doing a bunch of stuff for Base Morphers live as it airs. And now it's at 7 a.m. I'm like, okay, okay. We'll see how this goes. But we not only got the premiere date, we got a... Tr no? No? Still don't have the trailer? Well, guys, we'll see. We'll see if we get that trailer because two weeks in a row I've had to do a supplemental Ranger Week in review. Let's just see if Hasbro gives it to us on Friday. Knowing my luck, it probably will. But we also do have the title of the episode as well as a little summary of the episode to tell you. It's going to be called Beasts Unleashed. We ever heard that one before? Beasts Unleashed. And it is scientists tap into the Morphin Grid, but an evil virus corrupts the technology and a new team of Power Rangers is formed to defend the grid from evil. Yes, 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 that is the basic thing of Beast Morpher. Set all of your stuff, Morphin Grid, evil things. We, we know more about the evil people and mm, let's just, we, we got so much. We got to keep going. And with the rest of the Beast Morphers news and some Hasbro news thrown in, here's some other quick facts. Hasbro says that the trailer will debut online before March 2nd. It was withheld from Toy Fair because they wanted other toys and other things time to shine. Hyperforce and Boom Studio characters are in play for future Hasbro toy items. That probably could have been talked about in merch, but notes, guys, craziness this week. Hasbro said that GoBusters was picked to be the next Power Rangers because it was visually distinct and awesome. They felt it would push the IP, intellectual property, forward with something new and exciting. Hasbro feels like one of the biggest challenges for Power Rangers is how to please the older fan base while also bringing in new kids. They asked if they had considered anything for the Power Rangers going animated or a Netflix television show. They said, quote, all options are on the table and we want to reach the most people. Very, very businessy way of just saying, meh, maybe. Beast Morphers is already on YouTube a little bit because they have but they did a beatboxing beatdown with Play-Doh. It's silly. In I love it. It's just a silly little thing to make you smile. Go watch it. They're breakdancing. They're going against the Play-Doh guys. It's really adorable. And it's the Dodos face-off against the Power Rangers for the ultimate dance-off. And there's like a new remix of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers theme in it. Uh, we found out that they're actually going to be doing six more different themes. There are going to be a total of six new themes. One of them is in that Play-Doh one. Another one I'll have a link to below by DJ White Shadow. So there's going to be a total of six remixed themes of Power Rangers, and there are two of them, so hey, we still have four more on the way. If you hadn't heard, Power Rangers has announced another live show. Yes, the 25th anniversary one didn't go through because 
So Bond sold the brand. But hey, Hasbro was like, no, no, we're still going to keep going with this. So they're partnering with Kilburn Live Entertainment. It's going to be a stage show and fan experience touring in North America. They're excited to bring 25 years of Power Rangers, blah, blah, blah. I've done, I did a video just on the Lightning Collection, just throwing this out. I did a video on some comic news and talking about the live tour. And then I did another video just on Beast Morpher stuff. If I'm going too fast for you on any of this, just check out the other videos I posted this week and it will get you a lot more information on everything. In comic news, next week, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 36 is coming out, and we do have the brief little teaser, of course, for it. The newly assembled Power Rangers put everything on the line to win the battle, but now a war has begun, and it's one they never anticipated. But if Grace thought her new team had time, she's wrong. The universe itself is collapsing. Oh, well that's... I mean, I guess we kind of knew this is a really tell us much, but I guess it tells us that uh, what's his face might actually be true that the universe is dying, so where is he going to take them? I don't know. We'll find out next week in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 36. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 40, however, which is going to be coming in June, is going to be going the next, it's going to be going to the next arc, and that is going to be called Necessary Evil. Ooh, Necessary Evil, and you're already looking at that. That's the White Ranger. I'm pretty sure there is going to be a time skip or something going on in there. It's going to be the next Mighty Step reassembles the fallout from Shattered Grid. So here we go. We had the big Shattered Grid, took our break. We had Beyond the Grid of what's going on out there. Now we're going to get back into the Shattered Grid timeline. Not really sure how that one's going to go. But Ryan Parrott is going to be writing it. And Ryan Parrott also writes Go-Go Power Rangers. So he is now going to be doing both. And artist Daniele Di Nicolio is going to be coming back also to be doing the artwork on this. So woohoo! Awesome stuff happening in it. The little teaser we got for it is uh, they're going to begin a bold new era as my neighbor from Power Rangers are back in Angel Grove with the White Ranger as their leader. But what happened to the team after they defeated Lord Draken? And what does the White Ranger's first appearance mean for the future of the team? Those answers and more arrive in the first chapter of Power Rangers Necessary Evil as shocking secrets are revealed. Yay, I'm ready for shocking secrets. Uh, another thing that could potentially happen between now and Friday when I post this is we might be getting the preview up for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 36, which probably is going to have some big spoilers or whatever in it, so who knows? Who knows if we'll be doing another Friday live show or not? No gaming news this week, so let's just move to merch news. Oh my goodness, the merch news. Starting last Thursday night, we got our first looks at the Lightning Collection, and from there, guys, it just went crazy between Thursday and Saturday. We found out all of this stuff. It was pretty amazing. And shout out to Toku Chris for hanging out with me for four and a half hours on a live stream Saturday as we broke down the entire thing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, for watching, for participating, just for being hyped with me. You helped me be focused for that long amount of time and I really appreciate that. So thank you, thank you guys so much for catching on my live streams lately. Uh, it's been a lot of fun and I hope you've been enjoying them. But Lightning Collection, yeah. So we got the pictures of them, and then by Friday, we had the packaging up for them. We got to see better pictures of them. We got to see them with their effects. It's just crazy. And by this point, I'm just showing you pictures of them. The artwork, everything is gorgeous. These things are going to be retailing for $19.99. Keep in mind, guys, the case breakdown is going to be three White Rangers, two Shadow Rangers, two Dino Charge Red Rangers, and one Lord Zed. If you want a Lord Zed, pre-order him now. Just telling you this, do not get stuck trying to have to get it off of eBay or someplace. Just get your Lord Zed now. He's already, at least as of when I'm recording this, his pre-orders are sold out on both Target and Hasbro Pulse, Hasbro's own toy shop. Okay, and at Target, Tommy the White Ranger, his pre-order is also gone. Now, they may, of course, restock all of these as they go. I just, just want to let you guys know, get in on them if you want to get them. And if you don't want to just order Lord Zed, if you want to order all of them, there are also places like Entertainment Earth, Big Bad, Big Bad Toy Store, uh, Toy Wiz, places like that. We'll sell you the case of all four of them if you want to get all four of them. Or just check out a few other places. GameStop has them listed. I will have... 
lots of links and lots of places you should go if you want to get these figures. And keep in mind, these figures are a six inch line. They have so much detail, you can take the helmet off, put the civilian head on it, including Doggy Kruger, which is really cool. Not Lord Zed, also probably really cool because super creepy if they had a normal head on that weird skinny thing. Just, eh. Anyway, his, like, it's his skin. He's been filleted, right? Like, he was skinned alive. Lord Zed still kind of grosses me out. Just throwing that out there. But they're six inch figures, which is also going to be the height of our new basic figure assortment. That is right, our basic figure assortment. Ooh, we're gonna get some fun stuff in the first wave. So spring, we are getting the Red Ranger, Yellow Ranger, Blue Ranger, Atronic, which is the baddie, and Cyber Villain Blaze. Each of them are going to be coming with a key. That key goes into the Morpher, which I'll probably be talking about next, making unique sounds, making a whole bunch of amazing things happen. You can tell the posability, you can tell that they can actually move. Very excited. There's a lot more paint on them. I am very happy with them. In the fall wave, though, it looks like we're going to be getting a few more baddies. We're going to be getting the Gold and Silver Ranger, but we're going to be getting a Drill Monster that I can never remember his actual name. We're going to be getting Roxy's figure, which is great. It's different. It's yellow as opposed to the Sentai footage that was coming over was more purple, so that's a really neat thing to keep in mind. And a figure known as Evox, yes, Evox, that snake guy that we got from that really early trailer, like back in the day in the summer. That guy, his name is Evox, and we're gonna guess that's gonna be his body that he ends up going in, because in the Sentai footage the, there was a big head and then he went into a body and that's the body. So yeah, probably gonna be getting that Evox body. Awesome. We'll also be getting things like the giant 12 to 14 inch, like wood nutcracker-y looking things. We'll be getting those. Uh, Beast bots are also going to be coming out. Those guys are going to be in a different assortment. Zords. Zords, Zords, Zords. We got our first in-hand look at these Zords, right? Not like a little kid on the table. Here you go. They look fantastic. We got to see uh, Gold Ranger, his all three of the forms for them now. We got to see all of the forms for all of the Zords and all of them combined. Now, remember, the price point on this, yes, is a very expensive. However, we found out that there would be not only a toy that doesn't really have any lights and sounds. Imagine it more of just like a giant... Uh, it's my battery pack. Found out they're also going to be having some that are limited mobility. Almost imagine just an action figure, except it's the Zord. And then there's going to be a step above that that has lights and sounds and it, very, very playable. They're going to have, you know, regardless of what your price point is, I think you're going to be able to get some Beast Morpher toys that you're going to be really happy with. The Morpher, oh, the Morpher is awesome. And that is going to be going with all of these Beast Keys. Not Ranger Keys, Beast Morphers, Beast X Keys or whatever they're going to be called, but they're going to be reacting to them. And i show you guys this. That was all my makeup falling off of the side table. This is the Morpher. This is not the Beast Morpher's Morpher. This is the Go Busters Morpher. I'm just trying to really show you guys. But in this area right here is where you're going to be putting the key in, much like Turbo or so, and turning it, the dial is going to turn. It's going to have motion activated for your sound. You put the key in, it's going to respond to, and you hold it up to your mouth, you'll, it's Morphin time. Holy cow, check out the links if you want to see. There are videos of this thing in action. Do not miss out. It's only going to be $30 and coming out in spring. I will have one immediately. So as they're up for pre-order. Oh, I can't wait for pre-orders. Maybe that'll be something that'll be announced on Friday uh, after I hit upload. We'll see. More merch stuff, but this time for Play School, we got a lot more pictures and found out about new toys that are coming out, such as the Dino Thunder minifigures, the, we knew about the Red Dragon Thunder Zord, how about the Terra Charge Megazord? That's a new one, various smaller Zord vehicles, one for uh, Black Bison, we got some Wild Force. They look crazy. Again, long video on Tuesday, guys, if you want to check out more of the information about all of this. And finally, Micromorphers. Woo, we got a bunch of, there are like 32 different ones of these guys are going to be coming out in blind bags, pretty sure $3.99, no idea if it's going to be spring or fall. They do look really, really cute, but we'll see how it goes with blind bags for $4, and again, 32 of them, we shall see. 
Interrupting breaking merch news, Green Ranger is going to get a breakfast cereal. Apparently this may be, and I'm just seeing the, the brief stuff here, maybe uh, Emerald City Comic Con exclusive, not really sure. It also has FYE by it, which could be for your entertainment. Anyway, the, the fate of breakfast is lying in their hands. Go Go Power Rangers Funkos. I, if you've eaten the red ones, let me know in the comments. Are they, did they actually taste okay? I just assume it's going to be like generic Apple Jacks, but meh. Anyway, back to the rest of the news. Before I leave, though, I want to say something real quick. Thank you, thank you uh, so much to all the people at Toy Fair who are covering it on the ground. Ranger Command Power Hour was there. Hassan was there. Collector Shiki was there. Power Rangers Now was there. Uh, guys from Toy, Toy Arc who are getting all the stuff for Token Nation. And anyone else that I may have missed, I'm sorry, but there is no way I would be able to do what I do or what I did last weekend without you guys there giving us that play-by-play, -play. and it, it was really fantastic. Thank you guys so much. Ah, maybe one day I'll be able to join you guys, right? Right. Nah, because if I do that, then I can't live stream. Or can I? You know what? Let's just end this here. Guys! Thanks so much for hanging out. It's been a, quite a review of the week of Power Rangers. My name is Ranger Liz. I'll see you in the next video. Who knows when that'll be. Have a fan freaking tastic weekend, Ranger Nation. Doodles! Oh yeah, and also hit the subscribe button and uh, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, right? Right.